Okay then Yellow Army, welcome back to another interview here on official TUFC TV. Today you'll see that I'm delighted to be joined by the one and only Joe Lewis. How are you doing Joe? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Now Joe, it's been probably a, a couple of months now. It seems to have gone so quick since you returned to Playmore, but of course you've already been a favourite with the uh, Yellow Army for some time now. What made you want to return to Talk United? Um, there's probably quite a few reasons really that that kind of drew me back down here. Um, obviously, I had a great experience being here last year, which was a massive driver for me coming back. Um, I always had great experiences with the fans. I knew I was obviously close friends and had stayed close friends with a lot of my teammates from last year. And obviously, I'd worked with um, with the gaffer and Downsey before. So there were a number of things, really. Um, on top of that, the area. I, I like this part of the world. So a lot of the things kind of drew me back down here. Um, and of course, the fact that we've done so well this season and it, it's just an attractive place to be at the moment, really. Now, you didn't waste no time actually getting back down there, did you? I heard that the move went through really, really quickly and, and then you were thrown straight into the starting lineup again. Yeah, that was, um, it was a bit of a hectic day, uh, but we knew that we wanted me down here ready for the Sutton game on the Tuesday evening, which was something we managed to get, and which was a lot of hard work from a lot of different people, really. But we got it done, and yeah, straight in, straight in against uh, Sutton on the Tuesday night. And it's been you're, you're one of the familiar faces that talking. I we almost forget now that actually when you uh, when you first came here to play more, this was your first real taste of senior football, wasn't it, Joe? And what's the differences between playing you know, under twenty one, under twenty three footballs, even for a championship club, and first team football for a national league club? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing is obviously the importance of of, of the games that you're playing and. Um, the fact that there's a there's a whole fan base that's relying on you to, to you know to get results game after game, uh, and that's that's exciting as a player. Um, you know, there's still leagues at under twenty three level, and obviously I played in under eighteen leagues as well. But when you've got a whole fan base that's main focus is you know how you do week in week out and how those games go, that's as well as being more pressure. It's exciting. It's what you want to experience and. It's probably what it was about, really. So I'd say that's the main, the main, main difference is the importance behind in you play and, and, you know, the results, really, at the end of the day. Now, sometimes it's levelled at uh, lone players. You know, the question is, oh, well, will they care about the club as much as the contracted players? And that's clearly something that wasn't evident in your performances last season. It was probably one of the reasons why you became so popular with, with the Talk United fan base. But is there any other differences at all from being a lone player where, you know, you know that you probably will be going back to Swansea or, or being a contracted player? Have you noticed any difference? Um, yeah, well, like you said, when I was here on loan last year, I was fully focused on on trying to do my best and trying to win games to the team and, and trying to have the best outcome we could as possible last season, really. Um, but I suppose there is a difference in knowing you're not returning to a parent club at the end of the year, that you're going to be here at the same club again next year. That That's probably, from my point of view, it was quite a nice feeling, really. Uh, you feel, however much, when you're on you, you want to do your best for the team and your best for the club. There's a small little part of you that feels like you're not fully, um, sometimes fully part of that. But this year, uh, being a permanent player really gives you that feeling. Um, and that's what it's felt like since I've been here for the last two months, really. It's a very close-knit squad, isn't it? There's a, really not, a real nice morale amongst all the lads, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. That was probably one of the biggest things that surprised me when I first came here on loan last year was how well everyone got along, how much of a tight knit group it is. Um, and I think, well, obviously that hasn't changed this year. And I think that's what drives us forward a lot of the time is how how much of a close group of players this really. And it kind of surprises me now actually how how you know how well everyone gets along. Um, but it is just something that that we have in this group and something that I'm quite grateful for, to be honest. Now, Joe, one of the highlights of you being here at Playmore is your uh, ability to play in a number of different positions. Lots of people are termed as utility players, but sometimes it means only playing in a couple of positions, whereas you've played right back, centre-back, left back, 
central midfield. Um, is, is that something you adapt to easily? You know, because I've heard players say before that it's it sometimes can be a problem that they feel they don't make one position their own. But you know, you seem to find it very easy to move from one position to the other. Um, yeah, it's something that I've done for as long as I can remember, really, and and something. I am used to doing now, and as soon as I'm playing a position to help the team, it's something I'm willing to do straight away. Um, obviously, lately I've been playing centre half, which is where I want to be playing, and I've been enjoying that, um, enjoying that loads as well. But yes, yeah, it's, it's something that I've always done, and and I'm happy to do. That's obviously great news for the club because uh, having a player that. Uh... I can play in a number of positions, it's worth its weight in goal. But you've mentioned the, the partnership you've been having in the centre of defence recently with Sam Sharing, and that's gone really, really well. I think you've played three clean sheets in the last five. So what, what are your thoughts on how that partnership's been growing? Um, obviously, me and Sam didn't have too much time together at the club in general before we were asked yeah. to play a and a half together, but it's something that clicked quite quickly, really. Um, I think we... We have a similar idea about how we're going to play. And I think because we're quite similar players, that means that a lot of the time I know what Sam's going to do and Sam probably knows what I'm going to do. So that, that works really well. And like you said, that's, it's been coming off lately. We've been keeping, keeping clean sheets, which is something that we both talk about together a lot. I mean, you know, that's, that's probably the best feeling as a defender, really, if you've gone a whole game without conceding a goal. So it's something that we focus a lot on and talk a lot about and something we want to keep on doing, really. And how does that feel watching somebody that's alongside you that's actually very much in the situation you were in last season, that he's on a season-long loan from Bournemouth? Um, you know, obviously, he, he has had some spells with, with Weymouth beforehand and the like, but how, how do you find that? Yeah, that probably, I mean, develops the understanding even further, really, that yeah. I was in that position last year and experiencing a lot of the same things he's experiencing. Um, but I, in general, I don't think the differences between us are are that big anyway and like I said his understanding coming my way is is just as good so that that really helps us. Excellent well long may that a successful partnership continue. Uh, now tomorrow of course we're going to be playing uh, Woking big match good Friday and it's opponents that we know very very well. Uh, what are your thoughts ahead of the game Joe? Um, we've done we've built up to the game really well this week in training we've had a good week obviously a little bit more time off this week than we've been used to That's lately fair. with this um, so we're we're well prepared for it, um, and it is a big game. But so is is every game at this end of the season, really. So it's something we do now is take each game as it comes, focus on on doing our job in that game, and the, and then moving on to the next one, really. But all of the boys are ready to go. So yeah, it should be a good game. And of course, there are opponents that uh, we didn't face uh, uh, all that long ago, although you weren't involved in that match yourself. We, we are getting into the final third of the season uh, now, Joe. Uh, do you have a message for the Yellow Army, who again will be watching on in their numbers again tomorrow? Yeah, um, just really that we're going to give everything for these remaining the games. Um, we know you're behind us. That, that really drives us forward. So, yeah, um, we can't go back. And we're going to give everything to the end of the day. Joe, well, thank you very much for joining us. And again, Yellow Army, your support does mean the absolute world to everybody here at Talk United. And we look forward to you tuning in for tomorrow's match against Woking. Joe, thank you again for joining us. And to the Yellow Army, we'll see you again here on Official TUFC very, very soon. In the meantime, take care and keep safe.